All right, so we're back at camp. It's the weekend after setting it up. So one thing we don't have here, obviously, is water. So I have that water tank that I brought. Measured it out. It's, it's got about 200 gallons of water can hold. Camper holds 40 gallons. Just running a hose all the way down. It's actually high enough. I think gravity will feed it right down in there. But some of the stuff we gotta do for now. It'll be a while before we ever get a well or whatever for water, but it's not a big deal. So anyway, this is what I'm doing to set up and be ready for the weekend. A little closer shot of the water tank. It's a fiberglass tank. It's uh, got a couple tiny leaks. I checked. I filled it up. I shocked it and everything hadn't been used in a while. But uh, I filled it up, let it sit overnight. We lost, you know, six foot by you know, three foot tall, I guess, by a foot and a half wide. But it lost about a quarter inch of water. Sure, somebody could do the math and figure out how much water we lost out of the whole thing, but really it's not that much. It's way more, if this thing's full, it's way more than what we need for the camper for the weekend. So it'll, in theory, I, th I think it's around 200, 225 gallons. So in theory, if that thing holds 40 gallons, it should fit it, it should fill it up at least five times. But um, last weekend, we didn't run out of water until the very end. The night before we left, I let everybody else take a shower, being a nice guy. I was all sweaty from pulling stumps and doing stuff. Get in the shower, run out of water. Didn't even get time to soap up. So that was a fun night of sleep, but we're not gonna run out of water this time. So I, uh, I got some stuff at a pump, although we may not need that now. I am probably just going to put it in because it's got that strainer. And I don't want anything that may have be in this tank getting into the camper. Um, I've filled it and drained it and shocked it and all that probably what three times I think I've filled and drained it. So hopefully if anything too big was in there, 
would have either plugged up the line or is gone. So anyway, we got where'd my fitting go? All right here. Got this guy that'll go from the hose to the tube that I have on it. Just had like a barbed tube connection here. So I gotta cut the, the tube to put in the pump in line. And then we'll go from this on the end of the tube to the hose. So, yeah, so that's what we gotta do now. And it's a 12 volt pump, so I'll just run off my deep cell battery, which is really nice. It's gonna be convenient because I'll have that uh, down here most of the time anyway. And there's one on the camper too, so we got options. So, all right, let's get this set up. I gotta do this quick because I'm gonna lose some water since this is actually kind of downhill. Actually, I'm getting a bunch of sediment off. So, maybe it's not bad that it's flushing it out a little bit right now. We'll get the other end of the hose set up. So, this end's gonna have that if I don't grab it. Hopefully these barbed ends are enough to hold it. Yeah, no, it's leaking up here. It's fine. I do. I know it's leaking. I may let a little bit of this water drain out before I slap it on the pump. Let's off. Alright, strainer is ahead of the pump to keep the pump safe too so it's not running all that debris through it. If I have to run the pump, I'm really hoping that the pump doesn't blow all these fittings, the barbed ends off, but we'll see. Alright, we're going to let this drain just a little bit in case there's any sediment in there. No miss. I think we're good. Bring this up above. Kink it off. Okay. Now there's enough gravity without the pump running. Hopefully it runs right down to the camper. We'll uh, we'll go see if it's flowing all the way down there. Hopefully I don't fall on my butt. I really don't want to have to show you guys that.
trying to judge. We gotta be lower in elevation than up there. See if gravity's feeding this thing. Nope. See if we put it down lower if it'll start running. Gus, you're kind of in the way. I don't know if you guys have seen the puppies. Gus is the black lab. Abby is a lab retriever mix or a lab golden retriever mix. So anyway, I don't see any water yet. I think we're gonna have to hook up the pump, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, if it's all downhill, it'll run really, really easy and not blow those fittings apart. Not apart, but just take the hose, the tube off the barbed end. Hey, Owen, are you do? Is he doing something for you? No. I was gonna have him come wash this hose. I'm gonna go turn the pump on because I thought gravity might run it down. Got it. Unless there's a kink in the hose somewhere. See one. All right, just come over here with the end of the hose so I can see you. Gra grab the end of the hose, pick it up. No, no, no. I want over here so when I go up there, I can see you. And you can yell to me if it starts coming out. If the water starts coming out, run over and put it in the, the, the hole there, okay? Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go hook the pump up. Yeah, I can't wait until the road is done so we can actually bring the, the truck all the way in even when it's wet. This road is set up really good, I think. I mean, most of it's pretty good here. Probably would be just fine to uh, back the truck down a little further, but... And I do have the winch, so if I really needed to pull myself out, I guess I could. But... set up. I put a camera down at the other end so you can see that too. But I'm not that good yet. Alright, let's uh let's put the positive on. Pump's running. I think that little pump's gonna pop those fittings. Be ready. It's pumping, so it should be coming. Three, two, oh, there it is. Awesome. Working. Let's see. I want to see the strainer. A little bit of a drip here, but it's okay. I don't know which things like that part of the fitting is. That's okay. Man, you can't even hear that pump. Hear it a little bit now, I guess, but I should probably not let those touch. I haven't uh, properly wired this thing up yet. All right, I think we're good. So. Oh. Gus, what are you doing? All right, come on. Let's go see how much water is actually pumping out.
slow, but it's filling. So we let it run until it starts spewing out this. All right, the other thing we gotta do, get the, oh, something must be putting a drain on the battery right here. When I left, oops, when I left last weekend, that was, uh, at least had some charge to it and lights were working off of it. But nothing's working on it now, so we'll get the battery charger hooked up while we got the generator running. I don't run it all the time. Nobody wants to listen to that all the time, so we run it to uh, get the hot water going because the gas part of the hot water heater won't work for some reason, but there's an electric element luckily. And we're running it now because my lights worked on this, so. All right, let's get it hooked up. Hopefully I have enough extension cord. Can't do this. I'm holding the camera. there for a minute. I want to make sure I even have enough extension cord. Let's go to the noisy generator. Yeah, I think we just got enough. guy said the battery was a few years old so it's working but it's seen better days so we may may end up looking into a new one I don't know if anybody's got any favorites uh, if you have deep cells I would be open to recommendations but we got it on deep cell 2 amp that's all I want to run at it right now we got the other batteries so. All right, let it charge and see where the water's at. All right, so I doubt you guys can hardly see anything. But the uh, the water stopped flowing. Um, thinking, man, did it all leak out on a ride down or something? But so I'm like, eh, there's no way the strainer's filled. <laughs> Completely wrong. I should have, not that there's enough light. Should have showed you that the strainer was was packed full of stuff. I guess it's a good thing we had it. But, I mean, see it, I guess, sorta. But we're gonna put the water back on and see if it starts flowing again. So, we'll see. All right, it's really not as dark as what the camera's probably showing you, but. Hook the pump back up. We're gonna waddle down the hill here again. And make sure it's flowing good. It definitely sounds different. And well, I just took all that crap out of the strainer, so it should be flowing. Uh, see okay here. Probably gonna do all this for nothing. All right, let's see how the water's doing. Oh, there we go, beautiful. All right, strainer is just plugged. All right, well, we got enough water in the camper for now. Just gonna come up and unhook this. It's getting, I don't know what time is it? It's 10 after nine right now. It's still not completely dark, but we got enough and no sense of to run around in the dark so good to go we're gonna unhook all this and put it away and uh, I think it's about time for the generator to be turned off too so. all right we'll see what we get into tomorrow all right well on the last one I didn't uh, record a whole lot of the stump pulling we had some stumps out here that we ripped out but 
we're gonna do a few more. We, I didn't take any video of cutting uh, those little guys out there, but we've got, I think, a change of plan on camper location, whatever, but this is all gonna come out anyway. So we'll let you see it. Try a little bit bigger one here. I think that only took to four o'clock, but it's finally warm out. Yeah. I think that one came out harder than the maple tree stumps. Is that the ones that were over here? This was that like crab apple no, thing? No, this one. Is that the maple? Oh, those were maple, yeah. Alright, we'll do a long pull here.
that's a heck of a root ball. Holy cow. It's like a foot and a half deep. That roots out. Abby, come here. I'd say it did pretty good. Pretty good root ball. That was on half dead battery apparently because it's already dead. We pulled, you know, four or five on a battery uh, last weekend. So we'll do a couple more, charge up the battery. Minimal tools, minimal help, a lot of effort for Lee. doing the heavy lifting. <laughs> All right, go in. Mrs. Move. I didn't end up recording any kind of a conclusion for this uh, video, but uh, we just kind of wrapped Mrs. it up Gallagher. here, pulling some stomps and Mr. just trying to clean some dirt off of them and get them so they're a little easier to move and um, rain and stuff will slowly wash some of it away, but we'll, we'll get them burnt and get them out of here, but um, <clears throat> we decided to pull these stumps to make room for where we want to move the camper to. Oh, I thought you said that's um, plenty. 
we're going to basically rotate the camper about 90 degrees and the tongue of the trailer is going to face kind of like the wood pile there but uh, I got to dig out the hill and pull it down to where we were pulling these stumps out and get it kind of leveled off we in that direction I'd say we we're probably digging about three feet deep on the uphill side and then pulling all that dirt down you know lifting the low end about three feet so there's you know over 40 feet or so we've got about six feet of elevation change but uh, not real noticeable on the camera but it definitely is when you're there in person and especially when you you know even if you lay out a you know a 12 foot board it you can see how much of a, a drop there is and how sloped it is but um, anyway that's going to wrap it up and uh, thanks for watching and we'll try to get a little more complete video on uh, the next one. Alright, thanks.